one of the things that I must stress is off-site data backup. If you back up to something like this, like I said, my wife throws this right in her purse. Very important to get this off-site mine, I keep in my wallet. So I've got, That's a good I mean, idea. They're, they're huge. These, these days, these things, can, you can get a 32 gig flash drive. Not enough to back up all your data, but definitely enough to back up that really important stuff. Yeah. You know, those documents that have all of your personal information or uh, contact information or stuff that you just cannot lose. Pictures of the kids. You know, pictures mm. are relatively small. So you could back up a lot of your images and things like that on one of those. Throw it in your purse. Throw it in your wallet if you get a nice little yeah. flat one. So. Uh, and, and get it off site. So yeah, definitely when looking at a safety deposit box, get something to put your uh, backup in that's, uh, that's going to prevent uh, electrostatic discharge. So that could be a case, that could be something that, uh, like a bag that is uh, ESD protect protected. Oh, because what okay. can happen is, is you put that into a metal dr uh, drop box and somebody else co goes along and puts a, a massive magnet in theirs, I don't know why they would, mm -hmm. uh, that could actually cause damage to your data backup. So you want something oh, really? that's gonna help contain the, the drive in a safe manner as well. But get it off site, always keep it off site. I never yeah. thought of doing that. But yeah, I guess if something happens at home, you yeah. wanna be able to have it for sure. Yeah, I've got a friend who uh, owns a retail store and uh, saddest thing that ever happened, um, they had a huge fire at the store oh. and their backups were on site. So oh, no you think way. you do your backups and you put it, like I said, in the drawer, you know, and, and there's no way that it's going to survive the fire along with mm -hmm. the computers with the original data. So you've got to get those things off site because you, you like to think it's not going to happen to you, but it can. And we don't wish that on anybody, but it no. can happen. So yeah. let's prevent that from happening. Get those important files backed up uh, and get them away from uh, the original documents, the original files. Don't keep them in the same location. Yeah. Hey, if you have um, one of those USB sticks in your purse mm -hmm. and you go through, you know those sensors when you're leaving Walmart or something like that, do, well, does that affect it? Some people think it would. I don't think it would. Okay. Because you think about a digital camera, same sort of deal. People were concerned about taking digital cameras through airport terminals and things. Oh, but yeah. I don't know that anyone's ever really had a problem with it demagnetizing or anything like that. No, no. I haven't heard anything like that or cell phones or anything like that. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I always wondered because you, they magnetize things in order to uh, have the uh, theft protection and things like that. But I've never seen it actually cause any damage or anything like that. No. It's a mm. strange thing. I don't know the details of it. Uh, another option for data backups is, of course, going back to off-site data backups is using FTP or SSH, getting a large amount of space on a server. Um, MyWeeklyBackup.com is a service that we provide. Uh, that allows you to actually buy a certain amount of FTP space and then run your backups every week. Um, oh, okay. And that will actually do that through your high-speed internet. So there's lots of services out there that will provide that. You can buy FTP space and, or SSH space and be able to actually transfer uh, your files through that protocol. FTP meaning file transfer protocol. So you can actually have your files uploaded through the internet. You don't have to think about it uh, and oh, it will do okay. it all automatically. So you don't have to sit down can go through a certain protocol or whatever it'll just every week it'll just yeah. take all your information you can and schedule do that. your backups and it will because it happens through the internet you don't have to think oh is my drive plugged in right oh did i take my backup off-site because it's going through the internet to an off-site backup server oh, okay. so you don't have to think twice about it it's it's done and done you can confirm the backups if you want by looking at the logs or logging into your account things like that okay uh, so that's a great way to do your backups mm -hmm. as well and that usually the backup servers like our server is so redundant that um, you know the the backup service provider is going to keep redundant copies of your backups for you uh, in a secure environment so you don't have to really be concerned about what's uh, about things like fire or flood or natural disaster things like that right